I didn't mean to start filming. I just did. Sometimes I don't realize if I'm hitting the power button or the record button. And this time I hit record instead of power, so it's fine. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena. I am on a solo trip right now and I'm about to head out to Epcot for the deluxe after hours evening. I rented DVC points. I've done this twice now and I'm staying at Saratoga Springs. So because I'm staying at Saratoga Springs, which is considered a deluxe villa resort, I am able to enjoy two extra hours at Epcot after the park is closed. So for majority of guests it will close at 9 but for me it will close at 11 so it is currently 5 45 i spent the morning in the parks so go check out that video that one will already be uploaded this is going to be a separate video so that you can see how after hours feels before i left for this trip i looked up a bunch of after hours videos because i had no idea what the crowd levels were going to be like and they are doing another virtual queue release at 6 p.m. specifically for deluxe and deluxe villa guests. Now, I will say I planned my day around these extra hours and I decided to do a park hopper ticket instead of a single park and a party ticket specifically for guardians. So I made the decision this morning to pay for an individual, light, individual lightning lane because I don't want to enter the virtual queue at 6 p.m. and be disappointed when I can't get onto the ride when they don't give me a boarding group and then my whole plan was not worth it. So best case scenario, I'll get a boarding group with that 6 p.m. drop and ride it twice this evening or I miss a boarding group and I'll still go on for that lightning lane between 7.30 and 8.30 this evening. So I'm gonna go fill my resort mug head to the buses and then head to Epcot where we will start with Turtle Talk with Crush. My goal for this evening and this trip in particular is to do all the things that I've never done before. And Epcot for whatever reason has the most things that I've never done before. So I've got to get Turtle Talk with Crush done, Mission Space, Cosmic Rewind, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, the China show, Reflections of China maybe, and the sing-along at the Beauty and the Beast sing along at the France Pavilion and Awesome Planet. That's a lot, and half of those aren't even open for the extra hours, so we'll see how much I can get done, but really the goal is to just check things off my list, whether it's just one item or all of them. So we'll see how much I can get done tonight. Before I walk out the door though, we've gotta look at this outfit. I am giving all the dad vibes. Look at my stretchy denim shorts, fanny pack, hockey t-shirt, chunky tennis shoes. I'm all right with it, I'm comfortable. I got these years as a Christmas present forever ago and I've never worn them and they're very heavy and they won't be very comfortable for the evening but it's just for the evening and I figured they need to see the light of day. And my t-shirt is Epcot as well, it's this sleeve. So, we're going all out tonight. Got some big dudes on the benches. Hey, big dudes, give me some fed. Uh, Actually, got some little dudes down. So level. Hey, little dudes. Hey, little dudes. Focus, dudes. <laughs> so, like, now you're being on the of quiet. Cheer. Cheer with it? Oh, should just be like, rock on, dude, like that? Yep. Okay. That makes a lot more sense than what I was originally told, dude. <laughs> but it's like, it's for pointing out people's issues, dude. Just be like, problem. 
like, you got Trump? <laughs> dude, that's funny, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> you know what, dudes? I'm gonna open the ocean floor to you. Any questions for the crush man? What's your name, dude? Jace. Jace, what's your question, Jace? Yeah. What do you call a polar bear dead? What do you call a polar bear that's dead? Yeah. I don't know. What do you call a polar nothing. bear that's dead? Nothing, because it's nothing. Okay. I'm not sure I understand human humor, but... Okay, why, why are seagulls called seagulls? Why? Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be called bagels. <laughs> Alright, so Turtle Talk with Crush was so fun. There's definitely humor that adults appreciate as much as kids. So I recommend going that, going to that, no matter your age. There was a girl who asked how Crush felt about Harry Styles. It got a little weird, but people are weird about Harry Styles. And it was funny, afterwards Squirt pops up and Squirt swims away and Crush says, oh man, I forgot to ask Squirt about hairstyles. So it was just super funny in the moment. Uh, the other thing I wanted to come on here and talk about is that six o'clock hit, I was sitting at the bus stop and I realized, oh shoot, it's time to get my virtual queue for Guardians. Oh, look at that golden hour. Um, I got onto the app at six o'clock. I could see that virtual queues were available and I could claim my spot, but when I went jo to hit join queue, it said that I don't have a valid perk ticket. So I thought that was super odd. I took screenshots and I figured I would ask the guest experiences team getting in the perk, so I did. And she was so nice, was super confused with the problem as well, and because it's just me, she threw me on to a late night boarding group. So I will get to ride Guardians twice. So excited, we'll see if I can get two different songs. There are six options, so we'll see if I can get more than one. Right now, I'm headed around World Showcase. It is now 7.20. I have an hour until my first round on Guardians, so I'm gonna circle around. I already picked out the food I want in my passport. So I'm gonna grab those foods and then make my way back to Guardians. Also, because I'm dressed the way that I am, we're starting in Canada. But the truth is, I always start in Canada, so Team Canada. Let me know in the comments if you're Team Canada or Team Mexico. So my first food of the night is the filet with mushrooms. Hard to see it, but from Canada. So they always seem to have a meat like this, and it's always so good. It's cooked fairly medium well. There it is, which is how I like it. So let's try a bite. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's so good. I could have had it slightly more pink. It just needs to be a little more melty, but it is so good. The sauce has great flavor. All right, let's try it with a mushroom. Not a mushroom fan, but we're gonna we're gonna do the whole flavor palette. I will always recommend the steak at Canada, at Canada during festivals. They always have one. It's always amazing. It's expensive. It's nine twenty-five for this tiny little piece of steak, but it is high quality steak. I'm gonna finish this up. Keep walking around. You can tell, but the skies are looking grim. There's lightning pretty frequently and the wind is picking up so I'm trying to rush to get my second food and then hustle the guardian so I can ride that and get out of the rain so we'll see if I can make it in time Let's see there we go all right quick show and tell as I walk because I'm still racing the heavens and the rains could come at any moment I got from the Alps booth it's like warm Swiss cheese candied walnuts some sort of pear and toast. It was supposed to be a cranberry toast, but it's just regular toast because I ran out of cranberries, but that's all right. I'll report back later how it tastes, but right now I'm still gonna keep hustling out of the potential elements. All right, I polished that off as I was walking. It was really delicious. The Swiss cheese was great. The spiced pears were amazing. I could have had a dish of just the spiced pears, but I made it to Guardians without a drip of rain. God has found favor with me or with someone else here this evening, either way. 
it has not started raining and it looks like the clouds are thinning instead of it actually pouring down which is uh, except for the lightning in the background but it's okay I'll take it so I am headed to Guardians for the first time I'm so very very excited I'm not gonna film it this first time so keep watching and I will film it the second time well not the ride itself but I'll film, film pre-show and queue and everything the second time but the first time I want to soak it all in and enjoy it and report back with which song I got and my thoughts on it. All right, I just got off Guardians. That was so fun. It is such a feel-good ride. It's not too scary. There aren't too many big drops. It's very smooth, as everyone says it is. It's like... Space Mountain walked so that Guardians could run. It's incredible. I got Everybody Wants to Rule the World. It just makes so much sense with the plot of the ride and I'm obsessed. So I'm so excited to go back and end the night with that ride because it was a an absolute blast. I don't know that I would rate it better than Flight of Passage. I think I still, no. I, I definitely prefer Flight of Passage, but don't sleep on this ride. It's so worth the hype. It's such a well done ride. I loved it. So it's now about 8.30. I want to go get the cocktail I skipped, rushing to Guardians. So I'm going to grab that before they close in half an hour. You can tell I was screaming. Um, and by then I will be probably just tackling rides the rest of the evening. Um, I'm not really sure what all I'm trying to get done. Definitely Mission Space, even though that's not going to compare to Guardians, but that's the one actual physical ride I've not done and I need to check that off my list. So I'll get to that and we'll see what else the night has in store. All right, I just stopped at Earth Eats. Canada is that direction and Mexico is that direction and I'm facing the ball right now. Um, but I got the Strawberry Freeze. It's got vodka in it. Let me read it for you. Okay, the Strawberry Freeze says featuring Twinings Lemon and Ginger Herbal Tea with Kettle One Botanical Cucumber and Mint Vodka. I've heard really good things about it on social media and so I thought I would try it. So let's give it a whirl. Mix it up here first. Mmm, it's frozen, it's light, it's fresh. It's still really hot and humid, so this is hitting the spot right now. It's got a cutie little clover garnish that I'm actually not gonna put back because I don't wanna eat it, but I think I'm gonna head back towards Future World and start riding some of those rides and do like Spaceship Earth, maybe Soren. I wanna get Ratatouille in, but the wait is still at 45 minutes and I don't wanna spend half of my deluxe after hours for one ride. So we're just gonna do some of the quickie lines. It is currently 8.43. Park closes in just over 15 minutes. Uh, fireworks do start at nine, but I'm gonna skip fireworks. I do wanna see Harmonious. I still haven't seen it yet, but I would rather pack in my extra hours with rides instead of watching fireworks. So that's what we're gonna do, and I will just montage it and keep you posted on where I end up going.
the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Zandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Zandar. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? Someone needs to tell me what I'm on. Welcome, Epcot Terrans. I am Centurion Talmeric, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. I am very serious about this. <laughs> I am back in the room and wanted to recap the evening as I sit here with my leftover salad from yesterday. So all in all, I think this evening was highly successful. I got literally everything done that I wanted to and a couple more things. My strategy for working through the park for the after hours is exactly what you saw in the video. I got in line for Spaceship Earth just before nine o'clock, before the park closed as fireworks, just before fireworks were starting. Um, that was a walk on. And then I went to Soren because it was really close. That was at about 9.15, 9.20. Fireworks had not quite let out yet, so it was a walk on. It was funny to me because they didn't put anyone in group A or group C. They only had people in the three rows of group B in the middle. So that was the most empty I have ever seen that ride. After Soren, I then headed to Ratatouille, Rat Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. That is something I wish I could have done slightly differently, but based on location in the park, it didn't make much sense to do it any differently. But I got in line with the post fireworks rush. So those people who stood around for fireworks, it let out at about 9.30. Everyone went right to Ratatouille because they're already right there. So it was a longer wait. By the time I got out of Ratatouille after waiting 20 minutes, the wait said 20 minutes, which means it was probably close to a walk on, but that's okay. The timing still worked out perfectly. The other thing to note is that the entirety of World Showcase is not open, meaning you cannot walk the whole loop. So when I finished at Ratatouille, I couldn't keep going towards Morocco. I had to go backwards towards the UK instead, which was a bit of a hassle. It's I didn't realize that. So from, I think it's China, just past Norway. I think it's Mexico, Norway, China. So from China on to Morocco is closed. So you can ride Frozen and you can ride Ratatouille, but you have to walk completely around World Showcase if those are your goal attractions. So a bit of a pain. I don't necessarily understand why they don't just close the shops but still let you walk around, but it's okay. I cut over to Mission Space. Uh, that's a ride I had never had any interest in riding before, but my cousin and friend rode it in March. I mentioned it in the vlog, but I didn't obviously discuss it because I didn't ride it. They said it was pretty okay, so this time around I figured I need to ride it, experience it and just say that I've done it and cross it off my list. And that's exactly what I did and I will likely never write it again. Um, it was a little unsettling because I was literally the only person going on the ride at the time. They put me in this room of what could have been 10 different shuttles, different rockets going into space and each rocket had four people sitting in it. So that's 40 people and I was the only person. They closed me off in that room to watch a pre-show and then the pre-show ended and I just stood there for probably five minutes. I was very uncomfortable uh, because I wasn't sure if I could even get out if I needed to. So I was also worried about time because I knew I needed to get to Guardians I, the second time by before 11. So I was worried about my time 
and they just left me in this room awkwardly so that was really odd it was really unsettling but they finally got me onto the ride i didn't realize there were four rolls so i just kind of picked one you don't really do anything for your role with the mild level i never mentioned that there's two levels to mission space and i did the green one which is the easier one it was okay it was fine it wasn't terrifying but if you are claustrophobic please do not try riding this ride it was tight and i can only imagine with three other people in there that it would be very uncomfortable i don't have much claustrophobia really at all but i did have to sit there and like control my breathing and make sure that i didn't start getting too anxious about a the tight space and b the ride that i was about to encounter it really wasn't that bad i just had to focus on the screen in front of me instead of paying attention to how close everything was so i got off that Got on Guardians for the second time, and this time I got I ran. I the ride just makes me so happy. It's I just have a big old smile on my face. I I'm it's so 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 much fun. But everybody wants to rule the world is a better song than I ran. So we'll see if the next time I come back I get another song. But all in all. I would say it was more crowded than I expected it to be. It definitely felt closer to what Extra Magic Hours felt like previously, uh, pre-COVID, before they got rid of Extra Magic Hours. It felt pretty busy, especially back by Ratatouille, but if you're looking to pack in a lot of rides in a short amount of time, like myself, it is absolutely worth it. I wouldn't say pick a deluxe resort strictly for the after hours, I don't think it's worth it in that sense, but if you're already staying deluxe, take advantage of those hours because you can get a lot done. Take a nap like I did. Well, I didn't take a nap. I didn't sleep this afternoon. I just laid in bed for 45 minutes and felt so much more rejuvenated. So take that break and then come back and max out the evening with the shorter wait times. You can get so much more done. I didn't explain this very well at the beginning and now I'm going on several minutes of just ranting, but if you've made it to this point and you want clarification on these after hours, currently they only happen twice a week. It's Mondays for Epcot and Wednesdays for Magic Kingdom. You do get the two hours after park close every time. I know they're throwing Hollywood Studios into the mix this fall at some point, but only three or four times. I'm not quite sure why it's not on rotation. Animal Kingdom is not either, but when you go to your rides, you do have to scan your magic band or park ticket so that they can confirm that you do have a reservation and then you walk on per usual. There are several attractions that are not included in the after hours. That's part of the reason I needed to get Turtle Talk with Crush done at the beginning because that was not included in the after hours. And most of the food places are not open. So that's really something to keep in mind when you're at Epcot, you can't do food and wine festival. All of those booths are closed. Now they do keep open some options. I believe Connections Cafe is open, although I didn't check it out. There were several popcorn and pretzel stands that were still open. Crown and Rose Pub, Rose and Crown, backwards. Rose and Crown Pub was also open and it was hopping. It was a wild place. So there are food options. It's not like you're gonna starve, but Keep in mind that if you do Epcot after hours, you are not doing Food and Wine Festival. So, oh, it has been a long day. It is now after midnight. There was a very long line waiting for the buses. So I'm going to eat my salad since I only had a couple plates at Food and Wine. I made some decaf coffee. I'm just gonna sit here, take a breather, turn my brain off, because clearly it's just, running in 12 different directions take a shower and then go to bed and wake up for tomorrow's plans i do leave tomorrow i've got a few things going on still it's going to be another early morning but that's the only way it goes in disney world thanks for watching thanks for listening if you've made it this far congratulations this has been a lot of me talking but hopefully it's informative i know that like i said earlier i wanted to know what to expect going into after hours and if it was even worth it so i absolutely recommend for those of you staying deluxe or deluxe villa thank you so much for watching have a great rest of whatever time of day you are watching this give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button you even you know what to do 
I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.